Okay, 60 Second Paris, I'm your host, Dave Prada. Today we're in the third arrondissement, the Marais, to talk about, as you can see, Square Georges Caen. And there is the square right there. It is but one of the many quiet beats in Paris's continuing pulse. Here is a momentary refuge, the urban jungle, for lack of a better term, especially if you've been trekking about Paris on foot. We're actually near the uh, Picasso Museum, and just over there is the Swedish Institute, right through that doorway in the center. And uh, it's the ideal place to come and to relax and to let your soul and your mind exult. I'm going to walk over here. Uh, though small, the square has a rich, rich, rich history. I love the clock up there and this particular piece. It's named after Georges Caen, who headed the Musée du Carnavalet for 17 years. It's the, uh, think of it as the Museum of the History of Paris, which was built in 1548. And uh, if you think about that, it may explain sort of the square. You can think of the square as kind of an annex to the main musée, and which is why you see pieces like this uh, placed around. And if you look at this piece, here, for instance, you have columns, uh, pediment, and what, a bas-relief from the um, uh, remnants from the Tuileries Palace, I believe, uh, Tuileries Palace. And if you come over here, you can see just around these tourists, we don't want to bother them, or locals, we're not sure, uh, a ceiling rosé. And this would be from the original town hall, or from the old town hall. That was a ceiling rose that was uh, destroyed by communards in 1871. And as you work your way around the square, there's a beautiful piece just sitting serenely there. You'll see other pieces uh, behind the fences. And there's your typical chess checkerboard. And what I consider to be... Oh, and in the corner over there, there's an old wishing well, apparently. And uh, very old. And you wonder over the years how many wishes actually came true. But we descend the staircase to my favorite part of the square, which is a statue by Mayol called Ile de France. And as you can see, there's a woman holding a scarf behind her, a very confident, proud, and I think determined looking individual uh, in a bed of flowers. And I didn't come at the right time, but you can just let your mind do a mental Photoshop and just imagine what this is like in prime season when the flowers are in full bloom and the birds are kind of chirping, which they're doing a bit now. Uh, also around here somewhere is a very interesting artwork called a device called the Rosengold Electric. And it was by a, an artist named Eric Samak who invented a device that when the wind blows, it makes the sound or it recreates the sound of a nightingale song. I haven't heard it, but if you come to Paris, that's your job. And that's about it. Just another little gem hidden here awaiting your arrival. Come to Paris and let your mind see something worth feeling. Time for me to go, but before I do, 60secondparis.com website will be up and running by September. Go, often, religiously, look, ask me questions. In the meantime, keep checking out the YouTube channel for all kinds of interesting stories like this and other cool Paris exotica. Don't you just love that? I'm just going to pan around, tourists, and uh, give you 10 more seconds of sound, and then I have to go.